and welcome back, everybody. Episode, the next episode of so the episode three ish of our Supreme Ruler China, nineteen uh, fifties. So what we're gonna do? Um, so right now, we're, we, I've set the AI um, in the last episode there at the end to basically full initiative, meaning that it's gonna do everything on its own as per arrangements. So a lot of my arrangements are for mutual defense with North Vietnam. Um, I think North Korea. I don't know what arrangements I have. Line of sight, free trade, and embassy. I'm also going to give them mutual defense as well. Just so that when they go to war with Seoul, we can start sending troops down there. Um, other than that, I think we're pretty good for the moment. We're going to look at our supply situation here. We do need to work on our supply situation. Obviously, we need to build some uh, supply depots down this way. So, I'll turn that off real quick. So, we have a slight supply depot there and there. Build military airfield. Okay, so right here is where we're going to build the next one. Build transport rail. Bring up our thing here again. Next one we want to build is going to be in this general area. Build military airfield. No, there's not one there. So we're gonna go right here. Build military barracks. Build military supply depot. We're gonna build some more transport. Bring up our supply thing again, so that'll bump up this area. Supply is really good over here. We have a supply depot there. No depot in this area here, but our supply is pretty good. So our supply pretty much loosens up as it goes north. So we're going to build, build one here. Build military barracks. Build military depot. See those little gaps in this one here? So we're going to build another one over here soon. So build transport rail. Boom. Airfield. So the other one's there. It's going to do the area about this big. We have an airbase built there. So let's just try this one. Barracks. Military supply depot. There's this one to this one. I want something in the middle here for sure. So we're right here. So we're going to build the next one. depot here and we have a depot here. I can already see some kind of low areas over here. Don't worry about that too much right now. When we zoom out it'll show us. Like right here is low, here in right in here is low, and in here. So we're gonna build another one right here. So right at this place here. Barracks. Whole key to this is so that we can get our supply internally to the country going. Plus, too, by building these rails, it also helps a tremendous amount as well. Boom. Building a lot of bridges there. Zoom out again. Look. What you're going to do here. So let's kind of expand this way a little bit. Let's try and build an airbase around here. There's one already there. Perfect. Okay. Build military barracks. You go there. Build military and then supply depot. 
You're probably saying it's depot. It's like, no, it's not. Get educated. Learn how to enunciate things. Just like it's lieutenant, it's not lieutenant. Okay, that's good. That'll go about here. So we want to put someone around here. We're going to go right here, actually. Oh, military. Why? Uh, sometimes this game confounds me. Yeah, construction big again. No, it hasn't. Build transport rail. Boom. Then we're going to build one way up here. What will happen is we're going to look at this one and then this one and see what the difference is. Where we need. Because this one should do this area and this one should do this area. We don't really have. Uh, you know what? Fuck. I'm going to put it there. Put one right here. Rail. I kind of like that. Don't make every single one with with uh, with air bases. You don't really need to. You need to make them, you know, kind of connected to shit, though. Transport rail. stuff we can build here. So many things, so many things. Still only researching three things at a time. Buying whatever research we can, when we can. Are we building any? We're building three, that'll bring us to five. Being built here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they are. They are 461 days away. Oh boy. We're gonna have a lot of good. My theory is, as long as I once I can see exactly where my border is with the color of our uh, supply, we're laughing. Supply will be good within our country, and our military will be able to move around and defend ourselves. Um, we're not so worried about offensive defense military, but you know. Our plan is long term to annex obviously these two these two guys, so um ba -ba -ba, we're building fourteen there, perfect. Eleven there. Ten there. Yeah, I know. Um really don't have much to build. Ten's good for now. Well, what one anti aircraft Three infantry, two recon, two tank, a engineer, two infantry, another two infantry. Oh, we want anti tank and artillery, that's what we want. We want self propelled anti tank. Fine. We also want self propelled, ar self -propelled artillery. We'll take that. Plus, what technology do you got that I can buy? That's going to strange, but we want to buy them all. Keep buying it. We got the money. I basically have them selling everything. It's one of the things about China back in the day is they were making tons of money hands over fist. Obviously, it's all going to the government because we're communist. And all they did was just kept selling shit and buying, like, basically just selling stuff off. Selling everything they can to everybody. That's what we're doing. We're selling all our natural resources, basically. If you look, we selling. We're selling all our spare agriculture, our timber. Oh, the timber is hurting. We double the fifty-two, so we have at least do half. So we're about twenty-five of these. 
or 23, whatever. Uh, oil gas. Coal. How's our coal situation? Our coal situation is really good. We're actually going to demand, not capacity. If we go to, and we're at 15% capacity if we go to capacity. So theoretically, if we can actually go and build a whole bunch of, not coal mines, but uh, synthetic oil using coal. That's 30. Uh, we know we're going to round it to 200, so we'll do uh, 6. We're still behind. We're going to do at least 20 of these. We're going to do 29 to be exact. Oh, we're going to only do 18 apparently for the moment. Uranium, I think we're building all the uranium that we can yet. We're actually going to go to coal plants here. Because we can... Uh, we're going to go 38. Consumer goods, 35. We're going to build 5 more. It's going up to 40. We're at 12 out of 49, so we're going to do another, well, 50. Come on. Military goods, we're at 10, we're going to do another 5. Because we're getting up there. We're getting up there for everything. So we're going to definitely have a, a lot of things to do. A lot of things to do. We're going to unpause. They're definitely fighting down there, but we do have some troops down there to help. They landed troops, but they're not capturing anything, so they're good there. Turn that off for the moment. Why is this highlighted? Oh well. Okay, so... Oh, we did do that exchange. Perfect, okay. Got all those. Mutual f fence with the... North Koreans. Kind of wish it would show you how much is infantry and how much was... Oh, that's why, because we wanted to do you now anti-tank. One of you... We want self-propelled artillery, so we're going to have to look at probably the states. While we're at it. Okay, but they're willing to sell us everything. For them, this is like years old, that's why. They're selling it to us. We're going to hit a, a, a spot where we're going to be just behind them, or uh, equal to them. And they're going to stop just selling us everything. So, see, they're selling us stuff from 1943, and it's 1950. So, there you go. Everything there. Uh, artillery. Ooh, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the ooh, the 155 millimeter gun carriage. Pretty good. That takes 12 days to make as well. Oh, the priest. We want the priest. We want the priest. Boom. We already got the... What did we get? We got this from... I think we cut the quads from them before. We'll give you money, plus we'll give you uh, some Russian technology. How's that sound? Oh, aircraft real quick. Nothing too crazy there. Nothing too crazy there. Yeah, that's good. We're going to keep hearing that noise because our units are fighting down here. Um, let's see here. We're building P-35s, Buffaloes, Catalinas, and B-17s. Uh, 
Well, that's them. We're going to send the majority of these aircraft. Actually, you want... Uh, seeing if I can actually send it. Where is it? It's right there. Uh, reserve. Boom. Now I'm going to go back to Korea or Vietnam again. Diplomatic offer. I'm going to offer you all my aircraft. Uh, maybe for too many. We sold them so much stuff at the beginning, we're laughing. Technology wise, we're doing pretty good. Let's see what we maybe we can buy technology wise again. So, still stuff. See, we're still we're. We're so far behind them in technology that they're willing to sell it to us, like, cheap. They we're requesting 2.2, 2, well, 2.3 billion dollars worth of stuff, and they're giving it to us for two bits. They're even knocking off just tons of money. It's almost the point where we almost really don't have to do much. The catch point too is there's not much for us to... Yeah, like we have no aircraft, no ships, no nothing. Really right now to research anyways. So... Oh. Underwater patrol. Perfect. Okay. What if we have more stuff here with them? I have these. Please. Perfect. So we're almost getting to an equal footing, or if not close, with the Russians. Now, the Russians are behind. They already slick, we're already kind of getting a lot that they don't have. Because we bought a lot of stuff from the Americans as well. And that's what we want, right? We want to be that country that sits back, buys everyone's technology, and just throws people money and goes, here, you know, have some, you know, take some of this. You know, we don't, it's money. What do we need the money for? We don't need the money. Uh, that's our support troops that are leaving. Everything's okay there. That's just half tracks. Is it a supply problem? Must be low in supply there. I don't know. Are we low on military? That's why, okay. That'll change things up a little bit. Put some more research. Maximize our research now. Actually, you know what? No, we're not. We're going to cut our research a little bit. Because we're buying so much. It's one of the one of the humorous things since we're buying it. What's going on with our money here? We're... we're We are a lot of money in the hole all of a sudden. Oh, so much money for construction. That's okay. Let's offset that a little bit. See, so yeah, our expenses last for the last day were pretty freaking high. 
So we're going to lose a little bit of money over the next little bit. No big deal. But that'll be it for this episode. So I'm trying to keep the episodes from here on out down around 20 minutes. Um, with that in mind, so the next few plans for the next little bit is to stay internal, build up our supply section, supply, uh, our build up our supply, um, construction with units, we're going to keep with the units we're doing right now, um, by about 19, probably for another year or so, till 51, then we'll stop, uh, we'll, okay, pause, we might stop building in the next little bit when we look at how much troops we have, um, overall, we've got about 290, no aircraft, and no naval units. The little aircraft part's kind of a, a shocker, but once we get to at least 350, 400 troops, we're probably going to want to be like, okay, hey, that, that's it, that's enough. Um, in the meantime, the plan will be to... Uh, I'm going to think it over, but what I'm going to do is think whether we're going to annex these guys and then slowly work our way west, or just keep things as they are for now and just try to work our way internally and get all this properly set up, and then annex see everything sits, and then move over. Or, you know what, we might even move into Mongolia, and uh, try to and, and puppet Mongolia. We'll take a look. But anyways, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.